Are you listening? Welcome to the Nerf Report. My name is Bryant, and for today's show, we need to talk about this story that began to develop at the start of the weekend involving a brand new feature coming to Google Stadia. Now, this story comes from our friends at 9to5Google who shared images of a brand new feature coming to Stadia for mobile players called Direct Touch. Now, previously, when playing games on Google Stadia, you had a couple of ways to do it. You could use your favorite controller, a keyboard and mouse, or even the touchscreen controller that pops up when playing on your phone. However, where this new Direct Touch feature differs from the standard touchscreen support is with Direct Touch, Stadia can now detect exactly where your finger touches, swipes, or even pinches the screen. And as 9to5Google points out, this new feature will launch hand in hand with Amplitude's upcoming game, Humankind. When using Direct Touch in Humankind, Stadia players will be able to tap one finger to select items, tap two fingers to cancel their selection, hold a tap to preview an item, use a three finger tap to open the pause menu, along with using your finger to drag the screen left, right, up, and down. And while obviously this is a big deal for Stadia, I think that the overall story has a huge potential. Like, there is no doubt that gaming on mobile devices is becoming more and more popular, and it will be extremely interesting to see how this Direct Touch feature assists in bringing more games to mobile devices via Stadia. Like, there is a whole genre of turn-based strategy, civilization-building video games that this feature could be massive for. But the other big takeaway I have from this story is the potential for a second screen experience. Like we already know that Stadia plans on adding ways to use your phone as a controller while playing on a tablet, Android TV devices, or even a personal computer. But how sick would it be if a developer could use your mobile device as a second screen for gaming? Perhaps you mount your phone to the top of your controller and you could use it to look at maps, manage your resources, or let's get crazy. Perhaps that would even open the door to massive games that require a ton of hotkeys like MMOs or even role playing games. However, that of course is just my opinion and we have reached the point of the show where I stop talking and instead dive into the comment section to see what you all have to say. Stadia Krampus wrote, that touch feature sounds really cool and should be great for mobile users, but at the probable cost of crossplay with other platforms. It looks like I'll just have to play against the AI more. Oh well. Yes, uh, so if you're not aware, Humankind, it was announced that crossplay will not be happening at launch. Uh, but honestly, I think that this touch feature on Stadia is gonna make the game look unique enough. And you know, I'd love to see it brought to some single player games as well. So um, we'll see. Oh, apologies in advance for this one. Samuel Charbonneau Buffard commented, whoa, is it me or that touch feature is kind of a big deal? It's gonna be awesome to play a fully-fledged Civ-like game on a tablet with real touch controls, like mobile games. Totally agree with you. Uh, I, next one I would love to see is like Roller Coaster Tycoon. I loved that game as a kid. You know, you'd look at the park and you'd see how much money the people have in their wallets before they came into the gates, and then you'd jack up ticket prices and then you'd lower them for the next guy. Bring Roller Coaster Tycoon to Stadia. And finally, we have Nick, who kindly wrote, not sure why this channel doesn't have many, many more subscribers. Really enjoyed the format, style, and approach. Tone, really good. Thanks. Thank you, Nick, and thank you to everybody who has already hit the subscribe button. And if you haven't done so already, please do. It helps us grow the channel, but what even helps even more, share it with your friends. Well, if we missed your comment, do not worry. Go ahead and drop it down in the comment section down below as we are always hanging out down there reading what you have to say. Until next time, my name is Bryant, and this, this is the Nerf Report. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks again for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw and you want to see more content just like it, which who wouldn't, uh, hit the subscribe button right there. And while you're down there, hit the like button. Maybe even consider becoming a Nerf Report best friend, just like the people listed down below did. In fact, don't you want to see your name there? I know I do.